so today we're going to show you three leg strengthening exercises that you can perform at the wall and at home uh, and these are to help you to prepare for front kick, side kick and back kick. Mr Williams is going to demonstrate everything and I'll teach you the important points to each kick. So we're going to start with front kick. Keeping your back flat against the wall and the hands against the wall, raise the knee as high as you possibly can. From there, straighten the leg out in front. We want to have the foot pointed forward and the toes pulled back. You should be able to see a flat back, hands against the wall, bottom leg straight and close distance to the wall at the bottom. From the front, we can see that the bottom foot is pointing directly forwards and that the kicking foot is reaching the center line of the body. And relax. The second kick that we're going to show you is back kick. So Mr. Williams is going to go to the wall, place two hands against it. From here, he's going to look over his shoulder on the kicking side, lift the heel towards his backside and then fully extend the leg behind him. We want to see the toes down and the heel high. The standing leg on the ground should be quite close to the wall and pointed directly at the wall. If we come around to this side, we can see that he's still mostly facing the wall and the toes are down about 45 degrees. One mistake that we often have is that the shoulders turn all the way around and it becomes something like a side kick position. We don't want to see this, so we're going to go back to the correct position, roll the hips over and toes down. So the third and final kick that we're going to show you today is side kick. For this one, Mr. Williams needs to have just one hand on the wall. So, he's going to point two eyes in the direction that the kick is going to go, raise the kicking leg, make sure the bottom foot has the toes pointed to the wall, and from here we're going to have a high knee position and extend the foot, making sure that it is the heel and the blade of the foot here that are reaching the target. The other hand can be extended, or the, uh, the hand on the kicking side can be extended. This is going to be what the kick looks like when it's in a pattern. From this side, we can see that the heel, the knee, and the hip are all in a straight line, and that's directly over the standing foot. Some major faults that we see when this is practiced would be the hips leaning back, and the body caves in, or going the opposite direction with the hip over-rotated and the body dropping towards the floor. We want to avoid both of these. Stand tall with, the, again, the heel, the knee, and the hip in a straight line. If you took any value from this video, like, comment, share and subscribe.